about the next bit because it's slightly, dreaming about it's slightly so sort of <laughs> silly, but it says, got yeah, my first fine. try. And it said, dribbling and diving. <laughs> that had all sorts of things. We know why you went in the legal profession. I was very lucky, actually. I think Gareth Edwards was there. And somehow or other, I think he dropped the ball because something got in the way. I hoofed the ball and started running after it. And there was a bit of space, and we were near the 25. And I just galloped. And somehow or other, um, I can't remember who the full back was or what happened, but I was just lucky enough to dive on the damn thing and score. So I remember that. Then it says, everybody played very well. Um, uh, I think it might have been Monty played well. Monty Ellis. Monty uh, Ellis, yeah. Mm. Then I've got fortunate try. I'm not quite sure what that's about, but it goes on, they were lucky uh, with their kicking. Now, I don't know what that was about. Maybe they happened to kick a good ball down and then maybe uh, Dennis picked it up. I don't know. Stan played very well. Must be true contemporaneous. So, so Stan has actually photographed this because he couldn't believe it. <laughs> but it's, it is in my original writing, so there we go. And then Beautiful Day. So... We all were lost. Think, How could it have been? We, we, no, we, no. We, we, oh, he said we won. <laughs> <laughs> well, my dream no, always was Charlie. that we had in fact won. But I, was, no, I learned subsequently we were well lost. We did. There's no, a no, wonderful no, report, oh, which, yeah. I think Stan, uh, which I think Ken did, about the Millfield match. I can read it to you if you want it. It's only a few lines. But if you don't want to, you'll Go find on, it. Read it. Read, read. 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 <laughs> it's just... I just think it's, it's, it's such fun to, to refer to it because it's the actual, the actual beeswax. 16th that, October 1963. A first-class game of rugby was played in excellent conditions on the occasion of the first match between the Archery and Millfield. Millfield opened the scoring when R. Evans picked up neatly after a well-placed kick over the head of the full-back. R. Gregory then converted. The Archery came back and for the remainder of the first half had the better of the game territorially, scoring twice, uh, with tries from Hornby and Mackenzie. The second of these was converted by Roger Boos. Millfield Roger then Booz. regained the lead with a breakaway try under the post scored by V. Dennis and subsequently converted by R. Gregory. A third try by Millfield, also scored by V. Dennis, seemed to consolidate their position, but Archie fought back hard and Colin McKenzie scored an excellent try after a 30-yard run <coughs> down the wing. In the last movement of the game, Millfield again went over to give them victory, 16 points to 11. Yeah. So there you are. The, those are the facts. Um, well done, Ken. Uh, and you do say, I just, just had the fun of telling Stan about this, because he also photographed it. Uh, it was about behind the pack. Um, there was a, you talk about scrum half, and then you say... Um, uh, a really fine service, etc. Beyond the scrum, at the end of this service, is Freemuth 1. <laughs> uh, was, was brilliant. And it's fair comment that every side considered him the best outside half they'd played against. 